Hi, welcome to Christie's Stampin' Spot. Starting today, all of the coordination product release pro pro products are now available. So you guys can order, um, get the dies, and we're actually going to use these dies today. The Nature's Thoughts dies that go with, um, I have it right here, it goes with the Positive Thought stamp set, which we're using today. The Fabulous Special Day dies that goes, I love that raccoon, oh my gosh, that raccoon is so super cute, that goes with the Someone Special stamp set. Um, the Ladybug dies that go with the um, Host Celebration Special, um, those are also available. Uh, and the Sending Flowers, which is kind of fun, and I'll probably be using it this week. It's a fabulous, huge die, I think it's the most adorable. Um, flower pieces of shaker cards but it is the um sending flower dies and that actually goes with the sending you thought stamp set which is the um the celebration uh what are it were the words only set i don't know my, my brain just blanked and then of course the happy birthday dies which oh my gosh the birthday dies i guess they're not happy birthday the birthday dies that go with the happy birthday to you celebration stamp set which is pretty awesome this one's actually going to coordinate with um the february um paper pumpkin so if you haven't gotten the paper pumpkin yet you should totally totally get on there and make sure you're subscribed and as well as the fabulous please just punch um design and series paper so you can get all those on my online store there's actually um a link on the main page that you can find the coordination product project so this is actually what we're going to make today isn't this pretty so it's actually up on my blog so i actually got it right up on my blog and and do you know what i needed to do which is lovely and i actually wrote down the instructions for what did i do with them i had all the cuts and now i seem to have set them so i know they're here somewhere but i have all the um the measurements and they're all up on my blog so because apparently getting the measurements right live seems to be like one of the things i'm terrible at <laughs> just it doesn't matter how I, how much i try to make sure i get it right i still seem to um get it wrong but i do have the measurements up on my blog so you guys can see those and i'm going to actually show you first a technique um a lot of times we're going to send you're going to send valentines in the mail and so you don't want to be super heavy so i'm going to show you if you guys ever just embossed the front flap of your um card base. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick before we start doing all the other stuff. Okay, so also um, in demonstrator news, uh, we are having a celebration which has some really great deals, but also we have a, in um, starting March 2nd, we're going to have new celebration items. And if you are a demonstrator, you can pre-order them now. I love being a demonstrator that I can get all that stuff early, which is super exciting. Okay, so I have a big shot. Um, I know that, that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it anymore, but a lot of you already have your big shot platform. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it on. And I think it's similar with other um, machines as well. Um, I have the old subtle embossing folder, and that's actually what I'm going to use to emboss my card, my real red cardstock base, which is at um, it's 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and, and how you gonna and so if you had the new one that you can order in my online store to get the best impression you need to use your blue 3d embossing plate so you can also get those in the store but as i have the old one i just need one plate with because it's much it's pretty fat so you can tell this is the new parisian flourish um embossing folder and see how thick that is then look how much thicker the cell the um the old ones are which is why you only need one plate but you need the blue one so to, to make up that difference you can also use a sham too but i can never get that right so um okay so to make your to do just the front you just need to slide it in so if you can see the um where your crease is because i've already um added my score line and then you just slide it in so it's not all the way at the top and it's okay if you overlap a little bit on the back that's okay okay so you just put it on your platform and this is just the card base right so and then you need your plate okay and then you just whoosh it through 
fabulous, fabulous. Let me get this out of the way. Back down. And as you can tell, I have a new pretty clean plate. Oh, hi, Chris. Karen, how's it going? I have a new plate now, and we can get these in my online store, which is awesome. I'm so glad they brought it back for the big shop because I needed new plates. Okay, so there we go. So now I'll just take my bone folder. Make sure my crease is really good again for my folds. So it's okay that it's over on this side a little bit, but there we go. now we have a soft, subtle, and it's on um, the actual card base. That way you don't have to feel like you have to add another piece of card stock, especially if you're mailing it because you don't want to make it too heavy, fit nicely in your envelope. So it's nice. So you can totally emboss your actual card base, which is very exciting. Okay, so to make, to make this card, after you do that, you need to... Um, emboss your vellum. Now I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the um, the die cutting that I need to do. So I didn't need to emboss the vellum. I needed to die, emboss the Flirty Flamingo and die cut the vellum. So this fabulous die is from, it's in the annual catalog and it is our Delicate Lace dies and it has three, three different dies and I use this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Super simple. So I did need to use my precision plate for this. So, um, and what did I do with my, do do do, I took it off. We have a fabulous little, um, I need to just buy a second Picatool. Um, we actually sell like the, the little brushes that go on your Picatool and I totally, um, put it aside because I'm been using my Picatool the way it's supposed to be used. And I took it off and set it in my container. And I'll take you forever to try to get it out. I didn't even think about it. This is our old one. It's not as nice as our new one, but um, here we go. So I just took a little bit to get these out. You can also use your paper piercer to pull it out. Now I've got vellum pieces everywhere, but it's actually nice. So I actually use my precision paint plate to die cut. And how I made the sandwich for the die cut for that was I used my magnetic plate my precision plate and then um on top and then i used a clear plate and then the best thing when you have these really long ones like this is you want to make sure you kind of put it at an angle right and then it goes over your die much smoother if it's straight up and down it goes clunk 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 and it actually wears out your die so it's better and you can get a much better um die cut so it doesn't move or anything it's so much better if you do it sideways like that that's a little tip that oh, folder. I know I'm so excited I have shiny new ones. They don't stay new and lovely for long, but I gosh, get brand new ones out. It's so nice. Okay. I have like little pieces everywhere. Let me move my coordination out of the way. Okay. So we have our lovely um, vellum cardstock lace edge. It's actually really simple. So when you're using these, um, this edge does not cut out. So when you're cutting it out, you would um, the measurements on um, it like I said is on my website, but it's um, one and one half inch. And so that's, so it hangs over, right? So you want it to go, um, so it won't cut off all the way to the edge. So make sure you want to put this to the shortest edge so you don't have to cut your vellum again once you've um, got out your your thing. We're gonna actually use our paper scent so to make it even better. Okay. Then you need to uh, dry emboss your flirty flamingo piece, and I used our new Parisian um, 3D folder. And again, it's a, it's a really pretty. You see how gorgeous that is? Love, love, love. Okay. And so, how do I attach the the vellum to my pretty Parisian piece? Is I just took after I've got it dry embossed, just take a piece of tear and tape and just put it on. Um, the edge that you want your uh, vellum lace to go. So that would be the right hand side. Yep, yeah, right hand side, right here down the edge. Just like that. Okay. And then the tear and tape off. Maybe in, and so this is our, so you can kind of see how you want it to be. Okay. And then I line up. My vellum so you want to make sure that the inside part is um, towards you when you're putting this down so that it shows the outside part on your card and then when you're lining it up you want to see where your little pieces are you can see the um, 
so you get because we're going to use our paper snips to shorten it so it's exactly where you want it to be on your card do do and you want it to be at the top I hold my tongue just right and this is like the trickiest part of the whole card right there just like that <gasps> okay so I did actually okay oh, I've already got it down so I did it on this card I did only to the first loop and this one I did both so it'll go to the very edge it's still super pretty okay so you can decide if you want it short or long. I wanted it long, so let me turn it this way, and then um, when it's to the back, and then you can cut it your just like that. Oh, and then this way I'll do it this side. So you've got your you use your actual piece here as your guide. There we go, and then it'll fit just nice. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Love, love, love. Okay. Then we need to glue it down. So lay that flat and just use glue. So if you wanted it to be shorter and show more red, you would just put it to this line here instead of this line. I'm like, I want it to longer. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So then add your glue. Make sure you get it all the way to the edge. You don't want to get it over the edge so it spooges out on the other side of the vellum, but you do want it to be so that it covers that edge right here, unless you put more tear and tape, but it's easier to just put the glue, and then when you put it on here, then you just get that so it's got the same edges on each side, and the glue gives it a little bit of wiggle. So you can line it up the way you want. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's super easy. So dealing with the, just putting the little, little one lace panel on is the hardest part of the card. So pretty though, isn't it? Love, love, love. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and stamp our um, flowers and sentiment. So how I did this, the sentiment is I just cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock um, and it's one and a half by three and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the, um, the My Valentine from the meant to be which is also in our annual catalog um set the happy valentine's day i really like this and i'm going to do it in the flirty flamingo let's get my flirty flamingo out okay and then i i want it to be not like totally to the edge but um definitely on the right side centered of the cardstock right then we're going to take the fabulous, this fabulous, I think it's like a mum, this flower from the Positive Thoughts. I really love this Positive Thoughts. Isn't that gorgeous? We're going to use this mum or flower. I don't know if it's actually a mum. I'm really bad at flower names. We're going to use the um, Real Red ink. Okay. And we're going to stamp off on the edge. So I'm just going to ink it up. Make sure you get nice and inked. And... Just going to do it so it's a little bit off the edge, just like that. You see that? And then we're going to clean our stamp off. I'm going to take the, um, the Flirty Flamingo, and I'm just going to give it a little bit. I wanted to make sure I had to add in the Flirty Flamingo um, color. So I know that this is kind of how I set it. So you just turn it. So I don't know if you can see that there's a little bit of the red. I can see a little bit of the red coming through. So it's just slightly off centered, but it did stamp off. And look at that. It just adds just a little bit of that flirty flamingo. It looks so pretty. I love, 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 love it. Okay. Let's put the flirty flamingo back. And then we're going to take, um, we're going to make two other ones to die cut out because we, with the coordination um, product release, we actually have fabulous dies for that. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing as we did there with this. So this would also look really awesome if you embossed it the second time. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, so it should get nice. Real red for Valentine's Day. I don't, I'm not really huge red 
it's not usually, but I've been really enjoying playing with the Real Red and the Flirty Flamingo. They really look nice together. Okay, and then clean your um, stamp off. Definitely want to make sure you clean your stamp off because the Real Red will, you want to actually accidentally stamp on your Real Red stamp pad, uh, Flirty Flamingo stamp pad. Just like that. Now, if you want more pink than you had before, see how it's really dark on one side? So if you turn it so that the dark is on this side and then the pink's on this side dark, and then you do it that way, then you can add more pink to your your flower if you want. Do you guys see the difference? So see how I have it? It's dark, both pink and um, the flowy flamingo and the real red on this side. And then on this side, I, it, it looks a little bit more even. There's more white if you just offset it a, a smidge and keep it. But because one side of the stamp has a little bit more... Um, more image, then um, you can either make it full or um, more white, depending on what kind of a look that you want to, to get. And then you can die cut them out, which is so exciting. I love the die, our die cuts, and the coordination is so super fun. And so the die cuts that match is the Nature's Thoughts. So you can get this fa the fabulous Positive Thoughts stamp set. I've, I've already used the, um, the Butterfly, which I totally adore. But, um, the stamp set are, is in the mini catalog, or June, or January to June mini catalog, but you can now get these during our coordination um, product release. And so that was the butterfly, and that's another butterfly. And then here's the fabulous um, flower. So we're going to be able to, to um, die cut those out. And again, you just... You, if you want more pink to show, then you can line it up on the pink image. Or if you want more of the red to show, line it up on the red image of the red stamps. And then when they come out, they look like that. Pretty nice, yeah? Love, 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 love. But we still need to do some, a little bit more vellum. I love the vellum look on here. So we also need to vellum these little, these little leaf sprigs. And that's also from the Nature's Thoughts. And that's this cute little die right here. And again, um, for the lace, when, when I did the lace edgelet right here, I needed to run it through my big shot like twice. These ones you just have to do once. Aren't they super delicate and lovely? I just love these. They're so pretty. So die cut some of those out with some vellum cardstock. When you after you die your um, die cut out your flowers. Put this back in my so I don't lose it. But this is a fabulous die set. Like I said, you guys can get it today, which is so exciting. Okay, so then here it is. So then you're going to use um, um, Wink of Stella because I love Wink of Stella. And you want to, you can do it after you've, you've put it on, but it's much easier to try to do it um, before you actually adhere this to the, to the card front. I'm just going to add, I'm just adding a lot of, of um, sparkle. I mean, it is for Valentine's Day, so sparkle is awesome. We are going to add some bling as well. But, oh my gosh, I just love Wink of Stella. And, you know, Valentine's perfect for Wink of Stella, right? Okay, and then we need to attach this to our, um, to our card base with the Stampin' Dimensionals, which I had out. And now I have seen to have set them down and to do that. They get in the way and then I move them out of the way <laughs> then I lose them. It's so funny. Oh, here they are. They fell, they fell on the floor. So my um, Stampin' Dimensionals are almost out. And don't forget to use these edge pieces. They are really awesome. Super awesome. Now, I'm going to, if you can see on here, I'm going to tuck in this one piece. So I want to make sure that I don't put a lot of Stampin' Dimensional on that side, right? So I'm definitely put a big piece on this corner, right? Because I'm going to tuck in um, one of these under here. So I need to make sure there's some room. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a Stampin' up, to, um, Stampin' Dimensional in that corner. I'm just using my paper snips to make it small. Put it like right here up in the corner. And then I'm just going to put it in the middle, just like that. That's all you really need to get it on there good. But as you can tell, that means that leaves this space open. And that's so that I can tuck my flower in really easily. So actually, you know what? Let's give it a little bit more 
since I have a bunch of these. I do, you probably don't need this many dimensionals. I'm just, I do love my dimensionals. There we go. Okay. So let's take the, off the backing. But yeah, definitely don't, um, don't throw away any of this stuff, man. It's awesome. Low my stamp. And, and don't, don't feel, um, like you have to use the size it has. And that's what your paper steps are for. Is to just go for it okay so then we're gonna put you can put this you can you can put your um, sentiment like anywhere you'd like it to go I'm gonna put it like right here so it's kind of the same on each side just like that and then I'll just decide which flower I like which one I want it to be on the top I think I want this one to be on the top have a little bit more white in the right places and then this one I'm just gonna stick in here so I'm just gonna use a glue dot I have doo -doo -doo, just use a couple of glue dots on the bot on the back and then I'm going to just slide this in Remember we didn't put the um just like that and then I'm gonna put the other one on top so I'm gonna take this one and use more of my stamp dimensional just like that And just set it on top like that uh, maybe I'll move it over that's what I want a little over like that okay and then because um, I'm just gonna add these sprigs in where I like so I think I'm just gonna like tuck it in like that so I'm just gonna use one stamp and dimension or stamp and dimension one um, glue dot and just slide it in there and then just press it down so it sticks that pretty I love these little these are so cute and delicate. I just, I've really fallen in love with the positive thoughts and nature's thoughts. Stamp set and dies. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one on this side. I'm just gently lifting up my flower, and then I put the glue dot on, and, and you just press it down. So it's nice. And then threes are best. So I did three flowers, and I did three sprigs, and then. I'll do um, five of the, I'll do two, two hearts, we do two hearts, and then three of the fabulous, um, look at that, those heart epoxies. Okay, so there you go, look at that, how easy that is. So like I said, the hardest part is just getting how much, deciding how much of the lace you want to show on that vellum, which is absolutely gorgeous. These are a great set of dies if, just to add some romance. Uh, to any of your cards. They're so pretty. I love these edges. Um, I know I did one of the other ones I used for, uh, it has a very Southwest. This one right here really looks nice with any of your southwest -y kind of things. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay, so then we need to add our bling. I love bling. Okay, so you can get our little our fabulous epoxy hearts. Remember, you can color anything if you use your blends, which I love, and I'm using the dark, real red, and I want to do one big heart so just make sure you and you shouldn't go straight down with them you know you use the edges so you don't ruin your tip which is very hard to remember and then I want one small luckily these are not that expensive um, they're the same price as our glue so um, use them and use them and enjoy them don't, don't not use your fun things. These are meant to not be last forever, your Stampin' Blends. It's important to use them. Okay, and then, let's get out my, my pick a tool. Okay, so I'm gonna put the small one right here on the bottom, just like that, of the sentiment, that cute. And then we'll put the big one in the center. So I'm gonna put it in the center of my flower, right here. So I use the, the, this part to like lift it and then use this part to the, the putty to lift it up. It helps. It gives you a lot more um, control when you're putting these on. Isn't that pretty? Oh, can you guys see how that? I love these epoxy hearts. It's super fun. And then um, we got a lot of red because this is a you know really red and Florida Flamingo. So I wanted to add um, some of these big rhinestones. And I like to put the rhinestones pretty much where the junction of the um, 
right I tucked in my vellum so right here I do love to add sparkly jewels to everything this is always lovely so this is a pretty easy um, Valentine's card that looks really um, look at that that pretty? So it looks much more complicated than it is. It's pretty easy. So the hardest part is just putting where your vellum is going to be. And that's pretty much just, you know, gluing down. Uh, the tear and tape makes it easy. Um, if you use glue, then you could move your um, vellum around much easier, too, if you are scared of the tear and tape. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, so pretty. Okay, so that's it. That's that's the front of our card. Now we got to do our inside. Right, we can't. Red, real red is really hard to write on, so I cut an inside piece, and I always do mine at five and an eighth by um, three and seven eighths, because I like the way that looks on the inside. So I want to stamp the um, the Happy Valentine's Day again in um, the flirty flamingo. Now I also add to the back of my cards, and this one's a little bit harder to see, but I still like to add it. Because the flirty flamingo doesn't really show up as heavily, I still am going to set it, stamp it. So it almost looks like it's thin. Um, I don't know if you can even see it. It's um, You can see it when you're holding it. It's almost like uh, Versamark. The tone on tone. Okay, so let's close this again so I don't... And then we're going to do the, um, the, the pretty flower on the back too. I'm going to ink it up in the real red. And look how pretty that is. Oh. And then if you want to, you can give it more shading by using your Flirty Flamingo. But make sure you, you um, clean your stamps, which is why the chamois is so fabulous. Um, I really am not a fan of uh, baby wipes. I feel like it they dry out your stamps and it doesn't get all that awesome. I'm not really a fan of baby wipes. So I love our chamois. I think it really is fantastic and as you can see i cut mine in half cut mine in half my husband made me these cute little platforms to put on love it love it love it okay so i'm going to do it again the same thing in the bottom and get my rail red nice make sure it's nice and inked on my stamp set i mean on my stamp just do right there in the corner and then i'm going to overlap it again with the flirty flamingo and I do do a stamp off and then I want to add a little bit more color so I'm going to make sure that um, I'm going to stamp the darker part onto the um, where there's not as much ink so that more of the flirty flamingo shows just like that from my inside that pretty love 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 okay then the, we just have to add it to our um, inside our card and we'll be done and no is that cute it's so easy so i love your bit that you're um using my big shot the dies are so easy and fabulous to use i just am, thought it was awesome at moving that big shot around into the camera i just use some glue and attach my inside uh whisper white piece so i can write my message Look at that. We have a pretty Valentine. And it looks pretty fancy, but it was super easy. And, you, and that bling. Just love those heart epoxies. And this, this flower is so pretty. And uh, that embossing, um, the embossing folder, the, the new Paris, uh, Paris Parisian is so, so gorgeous. Love, 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 love. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. Like I said, this is already up on my blog. So that um, you can see the measurements as Valentine's Day is rapidly approaching. It's like 10 days away. So I'm going to probably get some Valentine's in the mail tomorrow um, because it's, uh, it's about that time. We're running out of time for Valentine's Day. But uh, I just love this stamp set. And I'm so excited that Stampin' Up! has started with our um, the coordination products. So you can get those all on in my online store.
And of course, on my website, you can print out this lovely sheet that shows what it is and get these fabulous dies. Are these fabulous? Oh, and I love this one. I can't wait to use it. There's a feather, butterfly. Oh, so awesome. So awesome. So I hope you guys had a, um, enjoyed today's project and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, happy crafting. Bye.